Hey everybody, this is MPS Ed Tech. Going to show you how to back up your grades in case something gets lost on a section. Um, where you live in the instruction tab, we're going to go down to reports. And then here we have a long list that does include gradebook export and grades report, but those are not the ones to use. Those are kind of jumbled. Uh, you don't want to mess with those as far as the file output. Uh, they're not too helpful. What would help you the most if something happened to one of your sections is a section summary down here at the bottom. So we're going to click section summary and what comes up shows the term that we're in and each one of your classes will be listed because you'll have to do this once for every class. So most of you have to do this five times and for um, the upper grades, you're going to have a look similar to this. For lower grades, you guys know yours looks a little different than that. I just chose a secondary teacher for the example. Okay, so most of this is okay to go ahead and pull up on the report. Don't worry about changing a whole lot unless you want to mess with it and get comfortable with, you know, not including assignment average or some of the things that wouldn't really matter. That's up to you, but it should be good as is. This entire thing is ready to go. We click generate PDF and this pops up first with your assignment list. So that's going to be the first page. And then as you scroll through, it's going to have all the student grades and the final scores for the uh, in progress grade. But this is where you have to actually go in here and download the file. So after watching the other video on how to get things set up with your OneDrive, we're going to click on OneDrive to save it as the new file in here. And you can select new folder. Grade backup. I got the wrong one. I got infinite campus. Grade backup. And we're going to save this as second hour. And so now you have that in your OneDrive, you can go sign in through Federation page and get to your OneDrive and have your grade backup folder. You can do this every once in a while. Um, most people recommend about once a month at a minimum. So don't feel like you have to do it weekly. That's just something added on that, you know, extra feel like if you do it probably once a month, you're safe that's close enough that you would have most of what the students have done up to that point. And the point where this really, really matters is towards the end of the semester. You don't want to lose everything. So as it gets further into the year now, make sure you're backing up your grades. All right. Thanks a lot for watching.